Chris Ray will be fired, according to DeSantis. WHO also claims that the FBI and DOJ have lost their way. The Justice Department and the FBI, according to newly announced Republican presidential contender Ron DeSantis, have lost their way and allowed themselves to be weaponized against Americans. DeSantis promised to fire Ray on Wednesday. DeSantis, the second-term governor of Florida and a former member of the U.S. House stated in his first interview after formally entering the 2024 race that he would change the DOJ's top brass in response to the ongoing bombshell reports of politicization that Congress and a few media outlets have brought to light. No, I would not keep Chris Ray as director of the FBI. There will be a new one on day one, said DeSantis. As the FBI is still being charged with politicking, Ray, a Trump appointment who formerly represented former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie during his George Washington Bridgegate controversy, has come under heavy fire. The FBI has received criticism for its purported threat tagging of school board meeting attendees, as well as raids on people like pro-life activists and longtime Republican consultant Roger Stone. Most recently, three FBI employees testified before Congress that they were targeted because they questioned the January 6 narrative. DeSantis stated that his choice for attorney general must have a strong backbone and the ability to carry out his duties in the face of criticism from left-wing media outlets like The Washington Post and The New York Times. And I think the DOJ and FBI have lost their way. I think that they've been weaponized against Americans who think like me and you. And I think that they become very partisan. DeSantis asserted that the FBI and other agencies' partisanship was enabled by Republican presidents' continued belief that they were independent, while, in reality, they were executive branch organizations. They answer to the elected president of the United States. So as president, you have a responsibility to be involved in holding those agencies accountable, clearing out people who are not doing the job, and making sure that they're doing the people's business, and they're not abusing their authority," he said. DeSantis promised that any Justice Department officials discovered to be collude ing with a tech official to block material will be swiftly dismissed, appearing to allude to the Twitter files incident. And because it's a war on truth, I think we have no choice but to wage a war on woke. A president should therefore be unafraid to speak truth to power, even if it is socially uncomfortable in some precincts, as presenting empirical facts against woke attestations can be, DeSantis argued.